Hey, welcome back everybody. Harry P. from the Driftless Homestead. Um, what we're going to show you today is uh, the last couple of weeks I've had in the woods. I had one weekend where I had uh, the death in the family. I had to go take care of that. Um, but the past couple of weekends that I've been up here, you know, working out in the woods, I've been at my buddy Mike's property and the game plan there is, uh, I'd say probably 30 years ago, they cut, they planted a row of pines and a row of white pines and a row of oaks. Um, that when when he bought the place, they weren't very close together and they didn't look like much. They were knee high, uh, you know, and there was just, it was just a reclaimed farm field. So what we did was, um, we did nothing at the time. Uh, the deer were extremely hard on the oaks. I don't know if you know it, but when, the, when an oak is really small, the deer will eat the tops off of it, which really stunts its growth. So eventually the, the white pines got really wide, um, which they do when they're young. And then the white pine will grow 18 to 24 inches per year. And it kind of, you know, they can't be over the oaks, oaks, so it causes the oaks to stretch out and grow faster. Well, for several years now, Mike has been trying to get some pulpwood processors down here. This is not pulpwood country, so they have to make a special trip and nobody's willing to do it uh, to take some of these white pines out. So um, along with the forester from the state of Wisconsin, the decision has been made is that it would, the best thing to do would just be to kill all the white pines. So probably over the past couple of weekends, uh, I would say we probably girdled a thousand white pines and I wish I could have showed it to you but really for how fast we were moving girdling these things you know I needed a cameraman and I didn't have one available um, so let me show you the project kind of go over it with the drone tell you what we're doing tell you what you can expect to see um, not only in the next coming weeks because we still have more to cut but also in a couple of years, how it's gonna progress and what eventually is gonna happen is you'll have a really nice oak woods. So um, let me get right to that. I'm gonna show you some drone footage of uh, my buddy Mike's land that we've been working on his forestry project. I wanna start off by saying, please excuse the, um, the footage. The uh, cold weather really affected the drone and made some of the footage and movements really choppy. Um, so we'll try and uh, work through that. I think that you can see the overall perspective of the project despite the uh, the choppiness of the uh, video. So um, this is his property, um, as you see on the left and on the right. His land, when he bought it, was uh, planted with uh, white pine trees and oak trees, every other row. So and in between all these pine tree rows that you see here are oak trees as well. So the problem with that being that the white pines grow between 18 and 24 inches per year. So they've shadowed the oak trees, and he's really lost a lot of the oak trees um, as time has gone on. Uh, we went in there and thinned it one time, but it just wasn't enough. So now the DNRs told him to um, that we need to go in there and kill all of these trees. So the past two weeks, I've been girdling all of these uh, pine trees, like up to this white bald spot in the middle of the pine forest there. Um, we've girdled every single one of those white pine trees. And you can see these that we're going over right now are the future weeks projects um, with us, the white pines that we need to girdle as well. Then there's a few rows of oak trees. You can see them there on the outside edge there uh, that was planted like that. So um, the oaks, the reason we're doing this is the oaks are infinitely more valuable than the white pine. Uh, the DNR tried to get someone to come in and buy the white pine uh, for pulp wood and the processors, it was just too far for them to drive to come down and do that. But the benefit of the white pine has been to this point protecting the oak trees somewhat and then by letting the project go too far um this it started to be a detriment to the oak trees so now we need to get those out of there so that's what we're working on um on 
hopefully on uh, upcoming videos I'll show you the project as it continues so you'll see the white the white pines from the girdling actually turn brown lose their needles and then you'll see all the oak trees um, leaf out in the spring or summer and when I show that footage I think you'll fully understand the scope of the project and um, what we're trying to save on Mike's land uh, you know and that'll uh, it'll help you understand what we're trying to do and hopefully if you have a project like this where this is basically a reclaimed farm field and if you want to do that it's not a bad idea to plant the white pines in there but at some point in time you do have to get in there and clean them out and let the oak trees go on on their own hey in case i didn't mention it this would probably be a great time for you to hit the like button that's the thumbs up um and uh subscribe you know that really helps out the channel helps me to bring you this content of uh working out in the woods making firewood doing forestry projects planting mushrooms um you know everything that i kind of got going on uh and then share with your friends that might be interested in the same kind of thing you know we play with chainsaws we do all kinds of interesting stuff i got a 501 i that i have i couldn't use it on a forestry project but uh Click subscribe, hit the like button, and share it with your friends. Thanks.